Hello there, this is Mike Harris, and it's uh, Monday, July 15th. Uh, just reviewing the Petaluma Wikipedia page, it's a good snapshot of everything that's great in Petaluma. And it's great to once in a while reflect back on all the information about Petaluma. You sometimes forget about some of the details about Petaluma. So let's check this out together. Now, Petaluma is a city in Sonoma County in California's wine country, part of the North Bay subregion of the San Francisco Bay Area, located 37 miles north of San Francisco. Its population was 57,941, according to the 2010 census. That's definitely be well over 60,000 when we have this next census. The Rancho Petaluma Adobe, located in Petaluma, is a National Historic Landmark. It's constructed, started in 1836 by the order of General Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo, then com Commandant of the San Francisco Presidio. It was the center of a 66,000-acre ranch stretching from Petaluma River to Sonoma Creek, and the adobe is considered one of the best preserved buildings of its era in Northern California. And if you get a chance, I'd definitely go over to that landmark. Uh, my uh, leadership Petaluma group through the Chamber of Commerce um, had a day over there, and it was pretty amazing just listening to the, the uh, docents that gave us the history, um, and it was just great knowing all of our history. So as we continue, Petaluma is a transliteration of the Coast Miwok phrase Petaluma, which means hill backside. Petaluma was originally the name of the Miwok village located near the present-day borders of the city of Petaluma. Petaluma has a well-preserved historic city center, which includes many buildings that survived the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. So history. The Coast Miwok resided in southern Sonoma County, and Petaluma was originally the name of the Miwok village east of the Petaluma River. A number of other Coast Miwok villages were also located in and around what is now Petaluma. Wotoki, immediately to the south of the village of Petaluma, on the opposite side of the river, Itam Likatiut, and Tuchayalan, near downtown Petaluma, and Tulme and Susili, just north of what are now the city limits of Petaluma. The Petaluma area was part of a 66,000-acre, 1834 Mexican land grant by Governor Jose Figueroa to Mariano Guadalupe Vallejo, called Rancho Petaluma. In 1836, Vallejo ordered construction of his Rancho Petaluma Adobe, a ranch house in Petaluma, which his family often used as a summer home while he resided in the neighboring town of Sonoma. Vallejo's influence and Mexican control in the region began to decline after Vallejo's arrest during the Bear Flag Revolt in 1846. Great, uh, just history about Petaluma. Uh, pioneers moved to Petaluma from the eastern United States after James Marshall found gold in the Sierra Nevadas in 1848. The town's position on the Petaluma River and the heart of the productive farmland was critical to its growth during the 19th and early 20th centuries. Sailing scows, such as the scow schooner Alma in 1892, and steamers plied the river between Petaluma and San Francisco, carrying agricultural produce and raw materials to the burgeoning city of San Francisco during the California Gold Rush. There were brothels downtown along the Petaluma Boulevard, which used to be the main thoroughfare until U.S. Highway 101 was constructed in the 1950s. The Sonoma County Bank Building, now the home of the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company and the Petaluma Seed Bank, was built in the 1920s. That's probably changed. That it has changed, actually. Petaluma soon became known for its grain milling and chicken processing industries, which continued to the present as a smaller fraction of its commerce. At one time, Petaluma was, named, was known as the egg capital of the world. That's why we have a Petaluma Butter and Eggs Day Parade, sparking, sparking such nicknames as Chickaluma. Petaluma hosted the only known poultry drugstore and is the place where the egg incubator was invented by Lyman Bryce in 1879. Petaluma is also where Randall Smith founded Mesa Boogie, also known as Mesa Engineering, which manufactures high-quality guitar and bass guitar amplification. One of the largest historic chicken processing plants still stands in the central area of town. This 1930s brick building is no longer used for the chicken industry, but is being um, evaluated for preservation and change of use, even though it is no longer known as the egg capital of the world. Petaluma maintains a strong agricultural base today with dairy farms, olive groves, vineyards, and berry and vegetable farms. They were probably referring to the Lion and Twine building there, which obviously is now a um, hotel. 
According to the Army Museum at the Presidio in San Francisco, Petaluma was relatively unharmed during the San Francisco earthquake of April 18, 1906, due to significant stable bedrock underlying the region. As one of the few communities in the region left standing after the earthquake, Petaluma was the staging point for most of Sonoma County's rescue and fire reliefs. Petaluma is today the location of many distinguished, well-preserved pre-1906 buildings and Victorian homes on the west side of the river. The downtown area has suffered many f river floods over the years, and during the Depression, commerce declined. A lack of funds prevented the demolition of the old homes and buildings. In the 1960s, there was a counter-cultural migration out of San Francisco into Marin County and southern Sonoma County, looking for inexpensive housing in a less urban environment. The old Victorian Queen Anne Eastlake-style houses were restored, and historic iron front buildings in the downtown commercial district were also rescued. Traffic and new home development, for the most part, was rerouted to the east of downtown by the construction of the 101 freeway. The downtown historic commercial district is on the National Register of Historic Places. The first official airmail flight took place in 1911, where Fred Wiseman called carried a handful of mail from Petaluma to Santa Rosa, including letters from Petaluma Postmaster John Olmsteed and Petaluma's mayor. Wiseman's plane ended up in the National Air and Space Museum. There was a st substantial influx of Jewish residents starting during World War I. The community formed around shared socialist ideals as well as religious and cultural ties. This is depicted in the movie A Home on the Range in 2002. With its large stock of historic buildings, Petaluma has been used as the filming location for numerous movies set in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. The historic McNear building is a common film location, and Petaluma pioneered the time-controlled approach to development. After Highway 101 was realigned as a freeway in 1955, residential development permits tripled from 300 in 1969 to 900 in 1971. Because of the region's soaring population in the 60s, the city enacted the Petaluma Plan in 1971. This plan limited the number of building permits to 500 annually for a five-year period beginning in 1972. At the same time, Petaluma created a red belt around the town as a boundary for urban expansion for a stated number of years, similar to Ramapo, New York. A residential development control system was created to distribute the building permits based on a point system conforming to the city's general plan to provide for low and moderate income housing and divide development somewhat equally between east and west in single family and multifamily housing. The stated objectives of the Petaluma's time-controlled growth management were to ensure orderly growth, to protect the city's small-town character and surrounding green space, to provide a variety of housing choices, and to maintain adequate water supply and sewage treatment facilities. The controlled development plan attracted national attention in 1975 when the city was taken to court by the Construction Industry Association. The city's restriction was upheld by the Ninth Circuit Court in 1975, and the Supreme Court denied a petition of writ in 1976. The court ruling still forms the foundation for most local growth management ordinances in California. Despite the history of planned development, the Petaluma City Council voted on April 13, 2009 to eliminate the entire planning department and lay off the entire planning staff. Planning division responsibilities were subsequently contracted out to the consulting firm Metropolitan Planning Group, which rehired some of the former planning staff and continues to operate planning services for the city. Now, the background on that is that was after the Great Recession, and I know the city had to find uh, um, austerity measures in order to get through the recession. In the late 1990s, Petaluma was also known as Telecom Valley, Due to telecom startup companies that seemed to multiply from one another and offer great riches for early stockholders' employees, two success stories were that of Advanced Fiber Communications, AFC, now Telelabs, and Serent, which was pur purchased by Cisco. Some Serent employees went on to purchase the Phoenix Theater, a local entertainment venue, which was once an opera house. The city has identified about two dozen buildings and districts as Petaluma landmarks. Geography. Petaluma has a total area of 14.5 square miles, and 14.4 square miles of that land is, is, is land, and the remaining 0.1 is water. Water is 0.74% of the total area. It is 32 miles north of San Francisco. Petaluma is flanked by the unincorporated communities of Pingrove to the north and Lakeville to the south. Okay. 
Petaluma is situated at the north, northernmost navigable end of the Petaluma River, a tidal estuary that snakes towards uh, San Pablo Bay. Pollution levels in the river, once considerable, have improved in recent years. A significant amount of the city is in the city f river's floodplain, which overflows its banks every few years, particularly in the Peyran neighborhood. Principal environmental noise sources are U.S. Route 101, Petaluma Boulevard, Washington Street, and other major arterials. The number of residents that live in the zone of noise exposure greater than 60 CNEL is approximately 4,000. Climate Petaluma enjoys a mild Mediterranean climate. The dry summer is characterized by typically warm days and cool nights with a large degree of diurnal temperature variation. Summer mornings often start out foggy and chilly, but the fog usually clears by midday or so, giving way to clear skies and warmth for the remainder of the day. August is usually the warmest month with average daily temperatures ranging 82 degrees Fahrenheit down to 53 degrees Fahrenheit. December is usually the coldest month with the average daily temperatures ranging from 57 degrees Fahrenheit down to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter is cool and rainy and with frost occasionally occurring on clear nights. The National Weather Service Cooperative Station in Petaluma had a record high temperature of 110 on June 2nd, 1960. The record low temperature of 16 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded on November 14, 1916 and December 14, 1932. The wettest year was 1998 with 45.93 inches and the driest was 1976 with 8.29 inches. The wettest month was February of 1998 with 19.59 inches. The most precipitation in 24 hours was 4.29 inches on December 4, 2004. I remember that. Although snow is, snow is rare in Petaluma, 1.5 inches fell in January of 1916, as well as about 3 inches in January of 2002. Demographics. The 2010 United States Census reported that Petaluma had a population of 57,941. The population density was 3,998.9 people per square mile. The racial makeup of Petaluma is 46,566, or 80.4% white, 1.4% African American, 0.6% Native American, 4.5% Asian, 1.3% Chinese, 0.9% Filipino, 0.8% Asian and Indian, 0.4% Japanese, 0.3% Vietnamese, 0.2% Korean, 0.1% Pakistani, 0.1% Laotian, 0.1% Thai. And it continues. Pacific Islander, 8.8% .8 from other races. 4.1% um, from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 21.5%. The Latino ethnic Mexicans are 16.2%. Salvadorans, 1.2%. Guatemalans, 0.6%. Nicaraguans, 0.3%. Peruvians, 0.3%. And Puerto Ricans, 0.3%. The census reported that 57,217 lived in households, 361 live in non-institutionalized group quarters, and 363 were institutionalized. There were 21,737 households, of which 7,541 had children under the age of 18 living with them. 11,392 were opposite-sex married couples living together. 2,257 had a female household uh, with no husband present. 1,052 had a male householder with no wife present. There were 1,319 unmarried opposite-sex um, partnerships and 207 same-sex married couples or partnerships. 4,372 households, or 24.7, were made up of individuals, and 2,366 had someone living alone who was 65 eight years or older. The average household size was 2.63. There were 14,701 families. The average size was 3.14. So let's go to the 2000 census. Actually, let's skip that. Let's just go to the economy. Economy, Amy's Kitchen, Calix, Camelback, Clover Stornetta Farms, Lagunitas, Brewing Company, Petaluma Poultry, and Athleta all are based in Petaluma. The top employers, according to the city's 2017 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, or CAFR, were number one, Petaluma School District, number two, Petaluma Poultry Processors, number three, Petaluma Valley Hospital, four, City of Petaluma, five, Lagunitas, six, Enphase, seven, Santa Rosa Junior College, eight, Hansel Auto, nine, Old Adobe Union School, and ten, Clover Stornetta Farms. So military, the U.S. Coast Guard operates training center uh, Petaluma, just outside Petaluma near Tear Rock. It operates several of its Class A and C schools of Tracen. Petaluma includes the electronics technician, ET, food service specialist, 
health service technician, information systems technician, operations specialist, storekeeper, and yeoman schools. The Coast Guard also operates the Chief Petty Officer Academy at the Tracen. Academy trains senior non-commissioned officers, chief petty officers, for both the U.S. Coast Guard and the U.S. Air Force. California National Guard operates an armed forces facility in Petaluma at the 580 Vallejo Streets. Parks and Recreation. Immediately to the southwest is Helen Putnam Regional Park, accessible from Chileno Valley Road. Also Oxford Court and soon to be on Windsor Drive. The park of 216 acres has trails for hiking, cycling, horseback riding, and is one of the two parks named in honor of the former mayor, Helen Putnam, who served from 1965 to 1979. The other is Putnam Plaza on the Petaluma Boulevard. Lying above the city of Petaluma on the northwest flank of Sonoma Mountain is the Fairfield Osmond Preserve, a natural preserve with a diversity of native floral and fauna. Nearby to the southeast is Tole Lake, the site of prehistoric seasonal settlement by Miwok and Pomo tribes. Government. The mayor of Petaluma is now Teresa Barrett, who was formerly, uh, and he was on planning commission, da -da -da, and that was before David Glass. So this is a little out of date because the six other council members are Kathy Miller, um, Chris Albertson, who has retired, Teresa Barrett, who is now mayor, Mike Healy, Gabe Kearney, and Dave Kearney. State and federal representation in the California State Legislature, Petaluma is the third Senate district represented by Democrat Bill Dodd, and the 10th Assembly District by Democratic Mark Levine. In the House, Petaluma is split between California's second congressional district represented by Jared Huffman and California's fifth congressional district represented by Democrat Mike Thompson. According to the California State Secretary of State, as of February 10th, 2019, Petaluma has 36,034 registered voters. Of those, 52.1% are registered Democrats, 17% are registered Republicans, and 25.8% have declined to state a political party. Education. Public schools are managed by the Petaluma City Schools. There are two comprehensive high schools in Petaluma, Petaluma High School and Casa Grande, whose athletic teams are now the Trojans and the Gauchos, respectively. Casa Grande High School is a notable academic decathlon team, which represented Sonoma County for the last 27 years in the state-level competition. There is an annual football game between the two teams known as the Egg Bowl. The game was suspended in 2011 for f fights involving players and fans, but was brought back in 2017 with Petaluma winning the game over Casa Grande, 20-14. The two Petaluma Public Middle Schools are Kenilworth Junior High and Petaluma Junior High. St. Vincent is a Roman Catholic private school in Petaluma, and its athletic teams are known as the Mustangs. Santa Rosa Junior College has a second campus in Petaluma, and the campus, the un unaccredited art school, um, is located in Petaluma. Harvest Christian School is a classical and pr Christian private school in Petaluma serving K through 8. Infrastructure. U.S. Highway 101 is a, f is a main freeway through the town. State Route 116 also runs through town as Lakeville Highway. Other major streets include East Washington Street, North and South McDowell Boulevards, and Petaluma Boulevard. Petaluma is served by Petaluma Transit, Golden Gate Transit, and by Sonoma County. Um, bus services. The Sonoma Marin Area, Area Rail Transit or Smart Rail line inaugurated service in August of 2017 and serves Petaluma Downtown Station adjacent to the historic Northwestern Pacific Railroad Depot near Washington Street. Second station, uh, Petaluma North, is a plan for future construction and service. The nearest airports are San Francisco International Airport and Oakland International Airport. Sonoma County Airport Express buses connect Petaluma with the aforementioned airports. General Aviation is served by the Petaluma Municipal Airport, also the Charles Schultz Sonoma County Airport located north of Santa Rosa. Now here's some notable people. So we'll go through these quickly. Actors, Lloyd Bridges, Myron Healy, The Mommies, Winona Ryer, Business, Benjamin Tra Trout, uh, co-founder of Six Apart, creator of Movable Type, type Pad. Uh, Mina Grabowski Trout, co-founder of Six Apart, uh, also. Okay. Got a bunch of designers and artists, video game designers, historical figures here, uh, musicians and bands, politics, sports figures, which is interesting because I know we'll have sports, uh, we'll have Spencer Torkelson on that very soon, and writers. So now, Petaluma in popular culture. The song Petaluma Afternoons appeared in the 1998 record album Time Between Trains by folk singer Susan Warner. 
In the computer game SimCity 2000, Petaluma is frequently a neighboring community to the city that player builds. The 2007 Michael um, Ondajave novel, Divisadero, is partly set on a farm situated near Petaluma. So you can continue with all the Petaluma and popular culture. So here's some of the film locations. American Graffiti, Heroes, Cujo. Locations include Petaluma, Santa Rosa, and Mendocino. Morning in America, presidential campaign ad for Ronald Reagan, The Explorers, Howard the Duck, Mary Sue Got Married, Basic Instinct, Scream, Flubber, Lolita, Pleasantville, Mumford. So now to the notable events. Petaluma held the World Wrist Wrestling Championships from 1952 to 2003, of which Hub, 20 pounds of chicken a day, Richmond won 19 times. Hub is also known for his appearances at gyms, for bending bars, and also setting world lift, lifting records on any given day. The championships were moved to Reno in 2004 due to lack of sponsorship, and the 2007 finals were held in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. In the comic strip, Peanut Snoopy aspired to be a champion arm wrestler, or wrist wrestler as they were called, and was shown in a series of 1968 comic strips headed for Petaluma. He was disqualified as he had no thumb. Petaluma also received national attention for when the 12-year-old Polly Class was kidnapped from her home at Knife Point in October 1993. The Phoenix Center was the site of the punt alt uh, rock band Sublime's last concert, and for the last 25 years, Petaluma has played host to the world's ugliest dawn contest. Uh, Petaluma hosts the Butter and Eggs Day Parade in April of each year, celebrating its heritage as the egg basket of the world. And in 2012, the Little League World Series, the Petaluma National All-Stars, became the first Northern California team in the Little League World Series since Aptos in 2002. And the team finished third. And then 2013, the Petaluma Leghorns American Legion baseball team finished second out of 4,500 U.S. American Legion teams at the American Legion World Series played in Shelbyville, North Carolina. And Bill Sobranes, Argus Courier's columnist and peopleologist, people's number one booster and founder of the World Wrist Wrestling Championship numerous other events, trademark, he's been photographed with more famous, infamous, usual, and unusual people than anyone in the world. He's the world's number one people meter from a tribute statute and plaque in downtown Petaluma. So there's an overview of Petaluma. A lot of the stuff people will know off the top of their head. Other pieces kind of uh, remind you of the greatness of Petaluma. So Petaluma has an amazing rich history. There's a lot of incredible aspects about Petaluma and it's just great to sit back and read and reflect on everything that's great about Petaluma. So again, this is uh, Mike Harris. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, if you like what we're doing, uh, please subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. So thank you. Have a good day.